So the uh, Keratograph 5M from Oculus uh, greatly helps me with my patient care, but there are particular areas where I think it excels. Uh, one is efficiency. I know you weren't gonna expect me to say that as the first answer, but it really is when you can hand off a lot of the testing to staff rather than the doctor doing it, it gives me a little more time to explain things to patients and, that, and a little more time with them, but not enough time that it affects my clinic so I can keep my efficiency really high. Because by the time I see them, I'm gonna see the injection on the images. I'm gonna see my bography, which is critical. I'm gonna have the meniscus height. I'm gonna have so many measurements that I, I'm able to keep my efficiency high when I'm seeing the patient in the lane. The second thing that greatly helps me is patient education. It allows me to, to take, again, it's efficiency because less time to try to explain what's going on. I used to spend like the first minute trying orienting the patient to their eye. This is what I'm talking about, this part of your eye, this lower part. Now I just pull up the picture, explain what it is. I'm able to show them what their my, my moment glands look like, where they are and what the issues are. And then the third area, which greatly improves things, is patient compliance. When patients see this, even if they only have minor symptoms, they realize, wow, I have missing glands or damage or a thin, thin, thin tear meniscus, they say, you know, I, I better do something about this. This really does look serious and they're much more compliant, even if they're not as symptomatic. So three areas in particular, and there are many tests, so that really helps to customize how you approach these patients. But I think really it's that education, that efficiency, and valuable, valuable images of the patient themselves. So the specific tests that are most valuable for me start with my biography. I really think my biography is gonna be the, it's gonna be like OCT for glaucoma. That is a technology that you really have to see what's going on. 86% of all dry eye has lid margin involvement or meibomian gland dysfunction. Although you can press on glands, that's only half the picture. So expression tells you kind of the functioning of the glands, but the structural effects are just as important. And so structurally, what we need to be able to do is to look at the meibomian glands. The only way to do that really effectively is with meibography. So that's my most important test. That being said, there's so much value to this technology. I mean, we even forget sometimes because it's such a great dry eye tool that is the Keratograph M5, that this is an incredible topographer. So in the corneal world, in keratoconus, in contact lens fitting, but in my world of dry eye, my biography stands out. Tear meniscus is so valuable for differentiating aqueous deficient dry eye, which has a slightly different treatment protocol. I also like looking at the bulbar redness scores. I find them to be very valuable in terms of what I'm doing. And then I love the non-invasive breakup time. I think it's much more accurate than putting dye in the eye. I save a lot of time by not having to do that. It gives me the information I need. And I really believe that it, it's more specific to the real breakup time they have. If I take a patient and I show them a picture and I tell them I'm seeing something here that concerns me and then I explain the consequences of not treating, I can get patients extremely compliant, but it starts with that initial image of their eye. And the Oculus Keratograph M5 gives you incredible data, incredible images. So you're able to use a multitude of them, but obviously my biography stands out, non-invasive breakup time, tear meniscus, injection, that you can choose the one you want explain what you're concerned about, and then talk about consequences. And I've found that I can even get non-symptomatic patients to be compliant when I take that approach. But it starts with that great image, and it starts with the ability to see structures that you can't normally see by looking at the patient, and that's provided with this technology.